Hi everybody and welcome to this video. What I'm presenting today is a solution to a problem I've been looking for for a while and that is trying to automate, for example, a small crane like this and have it automatically maybe go up and down and then turn and then stop and then go down and up again and maybe turn back around again. So I'm trying to automate the whole sequence of actions without having to use a remote control to do it manually. So the solution I've come up with is uh, probably more complex than I first thought it would be, but here it is. Uh, so what I've got is these two tracks, one on the left and one on the right. And these tracks control these switches, and these switches control the functions of the crane. So for example, the switch on the right controls the up and down movement of the string there. Um, and the one on the left controls the left and right rotation of the crane itself and each of these switches can switch between the three positions so over here we've got for example going forward neutral which means it doesn't do anything and uh, reverse so reverse is uh, done through these um, gears here uh, and these three states are controlled at the back by having these uh, this elastic here which switches like this. So the whole unit is driven by an extra large motor here uh, which drives through this screw thread uh, over here the main gearing mechanism and the motor itself is powered by this battery pack which is connected directly to a uh, voltage control system over there. What that allows me to do is to change the voltage so as to change the speed of the motor. In general as you probably know the speed of a motor is uh, in a linear proportion to the voltage that's applied. So if I increase the voltage I can make it go faster, decrease the voltage and make it go slower. So the control system is controlled by these tracks. Uh, so what you can do for example is add a small pin like this to the track and then as the track moves forward it will go in there and push on this um, piece here and that will then cause the switch to switch either left or right. So that's switching either from uh, neutral to for example forward or forward back to neutral or neutral to reverse and that allows you to control uh, the timing and uh, of each of the functions the rotation and the lifting of the crane okay so I'll now demonstrate the control system in action so what we've got here is our pin that's going to turn the lifting motor on or the lifting uh, gearing and then underneath here is another pin that will turn it off again by pushing on the other side of the switching mechanism so we'll just turn that on and show you how it works. So we've now got the pin going in. That pin is going to push on the switching mechanism. Switch on the lifting motor like that. And then the second pin is going to turn it off again. Look at that, just in time. And the other side works the same way. So again here we've got the controlling pins. One to turn it on, one to turn it off. But in this case we're controlling the rotation of the crane. So I'll give an example of that one as well. So again we're moving forward. The pin is going to switch on the crane, and as you can see the crane is going to start turning. And then the crane gets put back into neutral. So we're placing the pins in different places on the track. Uh, you can control both mechanisms at the same time and create a programming sequence. So for example what I've done here is created a small sequence where I turn the lifting to go up and then go off. And then later on I've got the movement to start and to turn off again. So I'll give you a demonstration on that. And I'll just turn the whole crane around. Um, okay, so let's start that program. So it's now going to start lifting. Like that. So that's the lifting program starting. Lifting turns off and then it turns on the rotation. And then it turns off the rotation. Okay, so this time I've programmed in a more complicated sequence. So this time uh, what I've programmed in is for the crane to lift, then to turn, then to bring the um, thread down, go up, and then come back again. So let's see if that one works. Okay, so now it's going to switch to lifting. Like that. The lifting should stop. It should start turning. Turning the stop, and then we'll start going down. Down with our stop and reverse. Start lifting again. It should stop and start turning back. 
and stop. And that was the end of the program. Hope you enjoyed it. Now the length of the program is, of course is controlled by the length of the track so you can obviously make the track uh, a lot longer by expanding it uh, on the end here. You can obviously increase the length of the lift arm, add more track and be able to add more programming pins. So at the moment I've kind of got the speed going about one unit per second so this track, this particular track has got 40 links on it uh, which gives you 40 different I guess timing options and by changing the voltage on here I can increase or decrease the speed of the track and so changing the speed of the program. And if you've ever done your own programming you realize you can write a program that can crash and you can do the same with the machine with this machine. So for example at the back here I have put two pins in a row that will mean the switch will try to switch to left two times which is in fact not possible. So I'll give you a demonstration of what happens. So the pin's going to go in there, it's going to switch the switch to the left and then the second switch is going to try to do the same thing and that causes a crash because this is an illegal operation. Well thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to support this channel, um, I'm sure you got a lot out of it so we'll see you next time, thanks very much.